everything everywhere, uh, the forerunner to EE, came about by the merger of Orange UK and T-Mobile UK. With that merger, we created effectively the UK's largest 3G network. And that 3G network is actually delivered through MBNL, Mobile Broadband Networks Limited, which is a, a joint venture between EE now as we are and H3G. Over the last decade, we've seen a massive shift from uh, standard mobile telephony to the use of mobile data and the rapid absorption of, uh, of data services by the wider market. And it's a sheer number of users as well, not the individual use of data of one subscriber, but actually the sheer volume of subscribers using the network simultaneously that's really driving volumes of data. To evolve the capability on the 3G network and enable the introduction of uh, 4G technology, we have to scale the backhaul. Legacy backhaul solutions were really built on traditional telephony uh, networks, so what we called an E1 circuit, a 2 megabit circuit. You know, now we need to provide hundreds of megabits per second, even gigabit per second, into the access network, and pushing gigabit Ethernet capability to the base station gives us that scalability to meet the demands of this growing data. We needed to find a solution that was going to be high capacity, low latency, and could be delivered in a cost-effective and speedy manner. So it was a case of, we need this capacity to support 3G growth. This capacity is also an enabler for LTE. So let's find the optimal solution to deploy now and allow us to scale our infrastructure cost-effectively. I think given the years of experience we had with Virgin Media Business, we were confident to sit down and have the conversation with them. And I think when we got together and started working in this fairly unique way, everybody was quite energised by this because it was a new way of working. You know, actually you could put an idea on the table and it would be discussed, it would potentially lead to a product. And what we're actually delivering now to live base stations and enhancing our customer experience with, enabling our 3G evolution with, our 4G network, etc., is all down to that piece of work we did. Historically, yeah, uh, a mobile operator would work with a fixed network provider who would then work with their vendors to deliver the mobile operator's requirements. When we sat down together to talk about this in the early days with Virgin Media Business, uh, we, we talked about the kind of solution we wanted. And it's quite clear to everybody that we're breaking new ground here. Yeah, this is new technology, there are new features, there's things really fresh from standards that are going to come out into this particular product as well. And started not quite with a blank piece of paper, but certainly yeah, with, with a fairly open mindset as to how we could work together and develop solutions. And from that, we could take EE's mobile requirements, and certainly at the time we were thinking about how we're going to introduce 4G into the network as well, so we wanted to be proactive, we wanted to deploy solutions that would support 4G. We also wanted to understand exactly what Virgin Media could achieve for us and how the Transmode product could work with that as well. So by influencing Virgin Media and Transmode collectively, we managed to get all the roadmap features aligned. They understood where we were coming from as a mobile operator and what our requirements would be. And collectively, we developed a product that we could deploy from day one, but also a roadmap to allow that product to evolve to meet our future requirements. The end customer is our priority. And uh, the objective of the whole backhaul program was to deliver a capability that enabled a higher data rate, a lower latency, a more interactive and more intimate experience on the mobile device.